click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number 2 which is based on roc in z transform now in last video we have studied a numerical where the roc is available over the entire region of z plane where only the case is z equals to 0 excepting z equals to 0 ROC is available over the entire region of Z plane. Now today we will study a new numerical and we'll see where this ROC will lie. Now the problem number two. Determine the Z transform and their ROC of the following discrete time signal, where the sequence is one, two, three, four, five, which is similar to previous numerical, but here the origin is placed on last. which means if the origin is available over here then and look at here the samples are available on the left hand side of that origin which means instants are negative so on the left side of zero we have a minus 1 instant and at minus 1 instant having amplitude 4 uh, and next to that we have amplitude 3 and it is at minus 2 instant at minus 3 instant we have amplitude 2 and at minus 4 instant we have amplitude 1 now these are the amplitudes of that instant important one is this arrow this arrow will gives us idea about instances if it is available on first side and if all the samples are available on right hand side of that arrow which means our instants are positive now in this numerical the arrow is present on the right most side bit which means all the samples are on left hand side so this arrow will gives us idea about the sample instance and these all are negative now we will find out the z transform first and then we'll move on to roc of this question so the solution is this is our sample these are the amplitudes and as i told you your instance are negative and here we have instant or origin sample now so by according to definition of z transform what we can say that we have to find out the z transform of x of n so z transform of x of n the z transform of x of n is represented in z domain as x of z and the definition is this is our definition now look at it how many samples are there basically as i told you this is the location or this is the origin place and all the samples are available on left hand side of this origin which means in the next left side value instant is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so i can say that our n value varies from minus 4 to 0 we will always move from left side to right hand side that's why i have written our n value starts from minus 4 to 0 which means this summation value also changes from minus 4 to 0 now what i'm going to do i'm going to expand this summation value how to expand just substitute values of n from minus 4 to 0 in this function now look at it here all the samples value till minus 1 are negative so minus into minus will gives as a positive that's why we have a positive order of all the z and at the last we have a n value which is 0 so z rest to 0 always gives us value 1 that's why i have not written any z value at the last now what is the next part we have to substitute the values of all the instants so x of minus 4 is 1 how to read this sample basically this one is placed at the location minus 4 this two sample and these are the basically amplitudes of x of z and these are the locations so at minus 4 the amplitude or that impulse value is 1 at minus 3 amplitude is 2 at minus 2 amplitude is 3 at minus 1 amplitude is 4 and at 0 amplitude is 5 so same thing i'm going to substitute over here so at minus 4 x of minus 4 we have amplitude 1 next at x of minus 3 we have amplitude 2 at x of minus 2 we have amplitude 3 
and so on. So, what is the next? We will just multiply this one with the z to the power 4 and that result, the final result will be my z transform of given x of n and then later on we will calculate the ROC of given function. So, this is nothing but the z transform given sample or given sequence. Now, what is next? We have to find out the ROC. ROC stands for region of convergence. It is the region where this function gives us a finite result and that region we are going to find out. So, first of all, we will substitute the values of z from 0 to infinity. Basically, we will use the shortcut. We will substitute only the first and last limit of z. So, we will first of all substitute z equals to 0 in this formula. If I substitute z equals to 0, then what we will get? All this z replaced by 0. So, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5. Answer is 5. Which means at a z equals to 0, you are getting finite result. Now, at z equals to infinity, what you will do? We have to replace all the z by infinity. So, what we have? z equals to infinity. If I substitute this z or if I replace this z by infinity, then infinity raised to 4 is infinity. But here all the infinity values are going to be added with 5, which means the result will be of course infinite. Which means what you can say that at z equals to 0, you are getting finite value, where at z equals to infinity, you are getting infinite value. And which Term or which region we are going to find out the region where I'll get the finite result. So, what will be their conclusion or what will be their result? The ROC of given x of z is available over the entire region of z plane, exceptional cases z equals to infinity. So, except z equals to infinity. So, this is how we are going to solve a z transform as well as ROC of given function. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.